Welcome back. Long time no see. I am filming my first video in eight months. Um, I've been on a few live streams since last time I filmed a video, but the last video I did, I believe, was my July wrap-up in August TBR, and it is currently May, so we've almost gone a full year. Um, a lot has happened in the past year. There's a reason I haven't recorded a long time. Uh, I now have a child. Uh, since the last time I recorded, um, I was pregnant the last time I recorded, but it was still a secret. Um, since then, I've since had a child. He is now two months old. He's great. He's currently in his swing, which is playing music, and I have no idea if the mic will pick up on it, but I'm a mom now. I've moved since last time I filmed a video. I'm currently sitting on my couch. This is going to be a <laughs> low quality production. Um, it was either low quality and I come back or I don't come back. Um, one of the reasons I had a hard time filming um, is because the whole process of setting everything up and doing all of that, editing everything, it's exhausting. Um, but recently I did a live over on Kyle's channel on, Re on Read by Kyle with Alex from Tall Guy Reads and it made me want to come back. I love talking to everyone. That's the whole reason I got into booktube and I miss it. So I'm back. I'm not going to have a schedule. <laughs> there will be no promises of um, how frequently I will be posting. Um, this video might end up being cut off at some point and then have to come back and film some more because again, Baby's in a swing. If he gets fussy, I gotta stop filming for a little bit. So, trying to get this video done while he's in a good mood, chilling in a swing. So, what we're all here to talk about, books. Uh, I can't go through every book I've read since I last uh, was on. So I'm just going to go through some of the best books I've read since the last time I updated you guys on reading. You can always check out my Goodreads for things I'm reading. Um, I do keep that up to date, so you can check that out to see like the last things I've read, what I'm reading currently, etc. Um, but here are the best books I've read since the last time I was on here. Um, I'm hoping I'm not missing any. I just went through my Goodreads and like went through and found ones I thought I... That I really liked. I'm hoping I'm not missing any that were some of my other favorites. Um, anyway, let's get into it. If I'm looking down a lot, it's because I have my laptop in my lap. I'm trying to, that's where I have my list of books. So I'm going to be looking down quite a bit. So um, these are in no particular order. It's just I was going through and found books I liked that I read. Um, one of the books I really, really enjoyed, I believe I read it last year, was City of Last Chances by Adrian Tchaikovsky. This was an arc I had that I did not read before it came out, but then I did read it, um, and I really enjoyed it. This book is like a revolutionary tale. It's like, the, it's the city where there's an occupying force. There's all these different schools that um, dictate how everything in the city runs and what is proper and what is correct and they're trying to create this like utopia when in fact like most utopian um, novels it is anything but um, and there is this um, forest where there is like a portal to a different place and there's all these there's just darkness there's these shadows it's like a grim dark story it's incredible I had a blast reading it. Um, the second one has come out and I'm planning on reading it in the near future. This was my first and only Adrian Tchaikovsky book I've read. Um, I really want to get into his sci-fi, uh, some of his sci-fi novels because I've heard great things about those, but I do know he's written other fantasy as well. So I want to explore more of his um, catalog, but this is the only one I've read so far. Next up, um, I read Empire of the Vampire and Empire of the Damned, um, which is by Jay Kristoff and loved them. I've avoided Jay Kristoff for a long time just because um, he's known as kind of being like this uh, angsty kind of author, kind of cringe, whatever. Like there was this stigma around his books. Um, so I kind of avoided him and I don't know why because I love angsty and I love dark um, and these books are phenomenal. His prose is so good, the characters are incredible, um, it's funny at times, uh, it's shocking. Like the last half of Empire of the Damned, I was like sitting on the edge of my seat. I read so much. Um, and since I've had a baby, I don't read nearly as much as I used to. But this one, as soon as I would put him down, I would read until too late. This series was great and I'm very excited to continue with Jay Kristoff's other series. I want to try out Nevernight. Another book I really enjoyed was In the Lives of Puppets. Um, this is by TJ Klune. And 
he has such a fun way of writing like the most wholesome characters. Um, this one kind of remind me of um, Psalm for the Wild Built. Something like that. I don't remember exactly what that book is called. It's a novella um, that I, duology that I really liked. Um, I'll put a photo of it here because I don't remember what it's called off the top of my head. Um, it gave me those kind of vibes because it was kind of like a post-apocalyptic robot fiction. There's one human left on the planet and he is surrounded by his robot friends and they have to try to um, like find out what's going on in this world. Um, they've been like secluded and sequestered in um, the forest and after a chain of events they must leave their um, their refuge and go explore and find out new things. So there's this whole expedition, exploration, where they explore what it means to be human, what it means to have self, um, but also try to save their friends and family. It's an incredibly wholesome, cute book. Another book I really loved is Alone With You in the Ether by Olive Blake. Um, this is the author that wrote the Atlas um, series, the Atlas Six, the Atlas Paradox, the Atlas Complex. Um, this book was phenomenal. It's um, a romance book. Uh, I don't I don't think there was any fantastical elements. I think it was just a straight romance book. But the way she writes things is so... Um, it's very unique, the way she writes, like, her prose and everything and her characters. Um, both of her characters are very off-putting and kind of weird, but they find each other. And it was just... It was short. It was beautiful. I love her. Um, I love this book incredible book. Another one um, that you might be shocked to see on here is Ghost Story by Jim Butcher, um, which is one of the books in the Dresden Files. I don't remember which number. Um, if you are familiar with my channel, you'll know that Jim Butcher and I have a rocky past. Um, I didn't love the Dresden Files until pretty far into the series, and I skipped a few in there. Um, but this one was very good. Um, I only put this one on here, but there were like three in a row that were really good. It was like Changes, Ghost Story, Turncoat. That's not the order, I don't think, but those three were all really good. But Ghost Story was my favorite. The Dresden Files, if you, you probably know what they are. It's about um, a wizard who helps the police catch magical bad guys. Um, and this one was really good. Baby's getting fussy, so I'm trying to speed through. Um, Disquiet Gods um, by Christopher Rocchio. Uh, the newest addition to the Sun Eater series. If you haven't read the Sun Eater series, please go. Um, I have a video all about why you should read the Sun Eater series, which I filmed before this book came out, but I've since read this book. Incredible. It is very fast paced. There's another big time jump from the last book. Um, there's a new character introduced that I really love. We get a lot of lore, um, a lot of lore. A lot of stuff is explained that we've been wondering about since book one. More of Christopher Rocchio's wonderful prose, more in-depth analysis into Hadrian as a character. It's phenomenal. Next up, I have The Pairing by Casey McQuiston. Um, this is the author who wrote Red, White, and Royal Blue, as well as a few other books. Um, Red, White, and Royal Blue is one of my favorite romance novels. Um, and The Pairing is their new book that's coming out this summer. Um, and I had an arc of it. I read it as soon as I got it. It is wonderful. It made me want to go to Europe and eat food and drink wine. And I don't even drink wine. Um, it was so beautiful. Check it out if you're into romance. Very good book. He's about to cry. Last one on here, The Dark Forest by Shishin Liu. Uh, this is the second book in the Earths of Remembrance, whatever that series is called. The one that starts with, uh, The Three Body Problem, which is now a Netflix series. Um, this book was wild. Another book I was, like, sitting up way too late reading. Um, it ended in a way I didn't see coming. I have no idea where the third book is gonna go. But this book was so fun. I think that this series totally is as good as everyone says. Um, loved it. Um, what I'm reading right now, I'm reading um, Of Darkness and Light with Ian from Ian the Reader and then Kyle and Alex, who I've mentioned previously. We are buddy reading this series. It's fine so far. Um, we'll see. I'm on like chapter 21 uh, and this is the second book in the series. So I'm hoping I like it more as we go along. It's not bad. It's just okay. And I'm also reading The Wisdom of Crowds, which is the last book in The Age of Madness by Joe Abercrombie. Having a blast. It's so good. Um, baby's crying. Probably gonna go. Thank you guys for watching. I'm hoping I can film another video soon. Um, that will probably be equally as low quality. Uh, but that's what, that's, I'm a mom now. To all the moms out there that are 
um, creating incredible YouTube content. How do you do it? You're all superheroes. Um, I, I can think of like five off the top of my head that I know are moms and creating content very regularly. Um, you're all amazing. And you can probably hear my baby crying. Um, so I'll see you next time whenever that is. Who knows when that'll be. But content. Woohoo! Thank you guys for watching. Thank you.